Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys an ultimate Christmas wish list. So Christmas is in a little over a month. I'm so, so excited. And I know there's a good portion of us here that have no idea what to ask for for Christmas. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys 100 plus Christmas gift ideas. I'm so, so excited. Hopefully I can inspire some of you guys watching to know what to ask for for Christmas because me, I know exactly what I want all throughout the year. And then as soon as November hits, and it comes to the time where I need to make a Christmas list, I have no idea what to ask for. So I wrote on my laptop over a hundred Christmas ideas to ask for, and I'm so, so excited because I feel like I wrote down some pretty good stuff. So I hope that all of you guys watching will at least get a couple of Christmas gift ideas to ask for. Anyways, now that that is out the way, let's go ahead and get into the Christmas gift guide. I categorize these as best as I possibly could. So the first category we're gonna get into is makeup, skincare, and self-care. And the first thing that I wrote on my list is a Charlotte Tilbury set, which is the Pillow Talk lipstick and lip liner or the glow wands. You guys definitely know the ones I'm talking about. You see them all over Sephora. Number two, anything from Lush. Every single year for Christmas, I'm getting something from Lush and Lush things are so great. They have bath bombs, gift sets, and all of that cool stuff. Number three, road lip treatments. I've actually never tried these before, but they look really good. The Drunk Elephant sets. I know that the Drunk Elephant skincare is really pricey, so maybe starting off with like a subtle gift set would be really cool to ask for. Dior lip oils. These are a little pricey, but that's why you should ask for them for Christmas, so you don't have to buy them yourself. Number six, Glossier makeup sets. Anything from Glossier, honestly, is really good. Number seven, Rare Beauty Soft Pink pinch blush sets. These are all over Sephora too. You can get the mini size and I don't really think they're that pricey. Next, the Tatcha lip mask. I've personally never tried it, but I've heard such great things and the packaging is also gorgeous. I also forgot to mention that this video could also be used for what to give to other people, not just for what you can ask for, but maybe ideas for like a friend, family member, whatever. Number nine is a perfume set. I know Sephora has one of like 10 perfumes and whichever one you like the best, I'm sure you can take it into Sephora and they give you a full size. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And also Sol de Janeiro sets. Sol de Janeiro has been super, super popular. And I feel like a lot of people are asking for Sol de Janeiro this year. A Tweezerman eyelash curler. Trust me when I say this, you guys, this is the best eyelash curler of all time. It's a little more pricey for an eyelash curler, but trust me, it is so worth it. Number 12 is lash serum. 13 is glow recipe sets. Next up is face masks, any face masks, peel off masks, sheet masks, and just kind of any face mask in general. Next, a little more pricey, but it is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum or the Magic Cream. If you have somebody that loves you so, so much enough to get you that serum or cream, definitely put that on the list too. Number 16 is the Fenty Lip Gloss, especially the Fenty Beauty Heat. I actually ironically have it right here with me because I've been applying this ever since I got it. Number 17 is a gua sha and also number 18 is a jade roller. Number 19 is the tree hut scrubs and lotions. I know they have a bunch of Christmas sets right now, which also smell so good. I went to Target the other day and they smell phenomenal. Number 20, kind of random, but snail mucin. Snail mucin is another thing this year that has been also popping off too. Number 21 is the Philosophy Washes. I actually wanna make sure that's what they're called. They're also really great and the perfect Christmas gift, I feel like. Number 22 is the Pixie Blush Stick. Number 23 is Victoria and Pink Perfumes. They have so many and it's definitely a better option if you wanted to get something cheaper. 24 is the Clarins Lip Oil. I've personally never tried it, but I've heard great things about it. Number 25 is anything from Laneige. I know they have so many Christmas sets. Number 26 is the Hemp's Lotions. These can get kind of pricey, but they're also amazing lotions and I highly recommend. Number 27 is a self-tan kit, which should come with the mitt and of course the lotion and the tanning product. Number 28 are lash extensions. I know that a lot of people are doing their own lashes. 29 is the get ready with me headbands. You guys know the ones I'm talking about. I have my own, which is the little pink one that I put on. Number 30, bath salts. Super self-explanatory, but I know after the holidays, things can get a little stressful. So taking a nice bath with some new bath salts would be Great. Number 31, very specific, but it is the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. Next is the Summer Fridays Lip Balms. They also have a set of three, which I think would be such a great gift. And then number 33 are the Super Goop Sunscreens. 
Next category is hair. There's a lot of hair products in here, so I decided to make it its own separate category. Number 34 is the Breggio hair mask. This is my all-time favorite hair mask. 35 is the Jisoo hair oil. Personally never tried it, but I've heard great things. Number 26 is a bamboo brush. I've heard it's really, really great for your hair and really enhances your hair care routine. Number 37 is a wet brush. Number 38, scrunchies for your hair, hair ties, things like that. And then number 39 is hair tools. So like a hair straightener, if you have, again, someone that loves you so much enough to spend a crazy amount of money on you, the Dyson Airwrap. Next is a scalp massager. I actually love these. These are really good and it's really good to exfoliate your scalp. 41 is the Amica hair serums. They have so many in Sephora, so whatever your hair care needs are, they definitely have it. Number 42 is rosemary oil. It's really, really great for hair growth. So if you're struggling with growing your hair a little bit, definitely try that out. Number 43 is the Day Hair Styler, which is like the serum that you use to style your hair, or I don't know what it is, but you guys know the one I'm talking about, also super popular. Number 44 is the Wow Dream Coat Spray. I've been using this since I got it. It's such a good spray. Number 45 is the Way Scalp Exfoliator. I know that you guys know which one I'm talking about. It's basically a scrub but you put it in your scalp. Also, again, with the Jisoo brand, they also have a hair mask that I've heard great things about. Honestly, anything from the Jisoo brand would be really good to ask for. Also, number 47, Living Proof Dry Shampoo. Number 48 is the Olaplex Bonding Oil. It's such a good hair oil, and it just stops my hair from becoming so frizzy. Also is hair accessories, so like hair clips, claw clips, and just things like that that you can use to like style your hair a little bit. And then the next category is clothes. So the first one is the Lululemon Define Jacket. You guys know the one I'm talking about. It's the BBL Effect Jacket. It works. It's really good. Trust me, it is amazing. Number 55 is North Face hoodies, North Face jackets. I know they have like the puffy jackets as well. Also number 52 kind of goes along with the last one, but puffy vests. Number 53 is white fox sets. They have the cutest sweat sets of all time. I'm definitely asking for more of those. Next is anything from Skims. Number 55, very 2016, but Nike Pros. I feel like you can't really go wrong with those, honestly. I use them to work out or even when I'm wearing a skirt and I wear shorts underneath. Number 56 is workout clothes. So Gymshark, TLF, Lululemon, Alphalete. Number 57 is body suits, any long sleeve, tank tops. Next, are the Essentials hoodie. Number 59 are Levi's jeans or kind of any jeans for that matter. Jeans are just such a staple clothing piece to ask for. Number 60 are the Airy Flare Leggings. Number 61, the Lululemon Align Shorts or the Align Leggings. And then also along with the same Align thing is the Lululemon Align Tanks. Next are the Brandy Melville sweatpants. These are my favorite sweatpants of all time. I own like three pairs and they're so good. Number 64 are pullover jackets. So for example, this is a pullover. I like the little zip right here. Also, I know so many people were asking for this, but Victoria's Secret sets. It's so like pajama sets, if you have a boyfriend, maybe like a nice little lingerie set. Just anything from Victoria's Secret clothing wise, so cute. Number 67 are pajama pants. And then number 68, socks, Nike socks, Adidas socks. Next category is shoes. Number 69 are New Balances. Number 70, Adidas Sambas. These are so cute. Number 71 are Nike Dunks. And then number 72 are Nike Blazers. These are also really, really great for the gym too because it's like a flat shoe and you can use it to lift in. Number 73 are boots. And by boots, I mean kind of any kind of boots. So like cowboy boots, if you go line dancing or whatever, or dress boots, any kind of boots are just so cute. And then the next three are gonna all be Ugg things. So 74 are the Ugg slippers. Number 75 are the Ugg minis. I'm also asking for this this year because they are so, so cute. And then number 76 are the Ugg Tasmanes. I think that's what it's called. I'm probably saying that wrong. Number 77 are sandals of any kind. So like flip-flops, dress sandals, anything like that. Number 78 are Converse platforms. Definitely one of my staple pairs of shoes. They just go with everything. And then number 79 are the Veja Campos. I think that's how you say it, but also another super cute pair of shoe. Okay, second to last category is random. So these are things that are just very miscellaneous. Did not know how to categorize them, but I just threw them into their own separate category. So number 80 is a Stanley Cup. Obviously, like who isn't asking for a Stanley this year? 
Number 81, tote bags to bring to the beach with you to just carry around. Tote bags are also so cute. Number 82 are beach towels. Number 83 are bracelets, so like Pura Vita bracelets, like little gold chain bracelets, any kind of bracelet. Number 84, backpacks. Number 85 is the Touchland hand sanitizer. Number 86 are candles, any candles, Bath and Body Works. Number 87 is an ice roller. Number 88, water bottles, so like the Glossier water bottle is cute. The Lululemon one or like like even the gallon water bottles where it has the timestamps on it so you can track your water intake. Number 89 is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. So cute, that's all I have to say about that. Number 90 are journals, any journal, the five minute journal, the do it yourself journal, or just any kind of book that doesn't even have an outline, just a basic journal. Number 91, sunglasses, also a great stocking stuffer. Number 92 is a new bed sheet set, also such a great gift. Number 93 is the Lululemon belt bag. It's such a convenient bag to bring around with you all the time, especially if you're going to like theme parks or you're gonna be out all day. And then next, gift cards. Any gift cards, Sephora, Starbucks. The final category is the pricey category. So if you have the money to spend on someone or if someone has the money to spend on you, this could be what you could ask for. So number 95, I kind of just put these all in like one number, but iPhone, iPad, laptop. 96, headphones. So like the AirPod Maxes or the Beats headphones. Next are earbuds. So like AirPods or like any kind of earbuds like that. Next, number 98 a digital camera. Number 99, an Apple watch or just any kind of smart watch. If you're planning on working out more this upcoming year, definitely get an Apple watch to like track your workouts to motivate you a little more. Number 100 is a skincare fridge. I feel like this is just so great because it keeps all of your skincare nice and cool and you can feel so refreshed in the morning when you put it on. Number 101, a makeup vanity. This is my makeup vanity. It's not really a vanity, but it is a desk with a mirror on it. So I feel like I should ask for this. I don't really think anyone's gonna be wanting to spend $300 on me for a new makeup vanity. So anyways, my camera just died. So let's continue this. Number 102, anything designer. So like designer bags, designer accessories. Next are suitcases. So if you guys travel a lot, it's definitely a great thing to ask for, I feel like. Number 104 is a record player. I feel like a lot of people were asking for this in like 2016, 2015, but I feel like but I feel like there are a few people that still like are asking for this, so I decided to keep it on there. Number 105 is a TV. Number 106 is a monitor. So if you do a lot of work from home or you like to game a lot, I feel like asking for a monitor is really cool. Number 107 is a new desk chair. Desk chairs can get really, really pricey and I have no idea why because it's literally like cushion and like wheels. That's mine over there. <laughs> It's so bad. And then finally, number 108 is a new makeup mirror. So if you already have a desk and you don't really wanna get the whole vanity, you just want like a new mirror, definitely get one with like lights and stuff so you can see your makeup and skincare a little better. That is my 2023 Christmas gift guide. I really, really hope that you guys at least got a few ideas from watching this video because I put a lot of thought into this. So really hope I inspired at least a few of you. Let me know in the comments what you guys are asking for for Christmas because I would absolutely love to know. I would love to see what you guys are into, what you guys are interested in asking for. But yeah, anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I love you all so, so much and I hope to see you guys all in my next one. Bye.